In this video, we will learn how multiple choice jot blocks in simple setup work within Nintex AssureSign. Multiple choice jot blocks will be useful in scenarios where a signer needs to select and submit an option or options within a document, such as distinguishing between using a checking account or savings account. First, let's drag the multiple choice jot block onto our document. You will be given the option for the jot block to be required, along with the option to set it to hidden. Start by entering some brief instructions for the signer. After that, we need to name our jot block here. You also have the option to tag, which would be a generic holder of any information you would like to provide. If you would like them to have the option to select multiple values, leave this button enabled. This would be used in scenarios where the signer needs to select all options that apply. Now, let's configure our options settings. Click the ellipsis to edit the options. Next, input the value you would like to be displayed to your signer in the display text field. The value you would like saved internally is the value to save field. These values are often the same. After that, you can choose how the multiple choice will appear to the signer from a drop-down list by clicking here. You may choose from different visual options such as a value, check marks, X marks or boxes. For this example, let's use a check mark box. Click Save option when finished. To provide additional choices for the multiple choice selection, click the plus icon and complete the display text and display as fields as needed. Click Save option to save your additional choices or click Cancel. At the top of the Jot Block Edit window, you have access to a display tab. Here, you can select a value masking. If the entered values pose a security concern, you may choose an alphanumeric mask credit card mask, or social security number mask to enhance privacy. You will also see a conditional logic tab at the top of the window. You can add conditions for the jot block here. Adding conditions to jot blocks will be covered in greater detail in another video. Once finished with the multiple choice jot block setup, click Save Jot Block. In this video, we learned how multiple choice jot blocks in simple setup work, which is useful in scenarios where you wish for a signer to select and submit an option or options within a document using Nintex AssureSign. 